Hey everybody and welcome to Lex's Lounge. So today I figured we'd talk a little bit about technical versus fundamental investing. These are the two main schools of thought in stock investing and I wanted to give you guys the overlays of them and so you can maybe pick which one's the better one for you. So technical investing is when you look at stock charts and you read things like trading volumes and moving averages of stocks and you basically try and get a gauge using the charts of where the psychology of the stock is. Uh, meaning if the people buying the stock, the bulls, are running out of energy, or maybe the bears, the people selling the stock, are running out of energy. And you try and pinpoint points where uh, you can either sell or buy whatever it is you're doing. Fundamental investing is quite a bit different. There is no real stock reading in it, uh, but what you do is you look for news stories and news events and kind of broad uh, facts to try and justify uh, whether you think a stock is overvalued or undervalued. Here's a good example of fundamental investing. Uh, electric cars are on their way in. Uh, those cars need lithium batteries. Um, so that means lithium is going to be in great demand. So you figure out who the three uh, companies that uh, are the top lithium miners in the world. Uh, you figure out who they are and then based on that you invest in them because you assume that they are going to be making strong lithium sales for quite some time. So first off, do both schools of thought work? And the answer is yes, they really do. I've seen both technical investors and fundamental investors do really really well but here's the thing technical investing works really really well in the short term so if you're the kind of trader who wants to be trading stocks every day or every week and holding on to your positions for just a little bit at a time then probably technical investing is going to be the school for you if you're the type of investor uh, who likes to hold stocks for longer periods um, uh, and you kind of like to get paid dividends and so on and so forth, uh, I'll include my episode on dividends uh, in the description then you probably want to be a fundamental investor. Uh, and by the way, I am a fundamental investor, and then I do a little bit of technical investing uh, just so that I basically use the fundamentals to pick my stocks, and then I use the technicals to pick a slightly better entry point and that's kind of what you ideally want to do is you want to be kind of a master of one and a jack of the other but uh, you you really want to go deep dive into the one that comes easily to you there's people who think that they want to do technical investing uh, because they're good at math but they hate reading charts and if you hate doing it, you're simply not going to be that good. Uh, so choose wisely. And the other thing you don't want to do is you don't want to confuse the strengths of these two. So in other words, you don't want to be using technical investing to take really long-term investments. And you don't want to do fundamental investing to buy stocks and then uh, hold them and sell them a few days later. Because that's a really good way to get burned. So uh, bear that in mind. Uh, also, sometimes it's great if you can partner with somebody. So for example, I know a fellow who is a great technical investor, and I am a much stronger fundamental investor. So often we will actually uh, run stocks past each other, and if they check out with both of us, well, then we know we might have a winner on our hands. So those are kind of your two schools of thought. Um, I'll also try to link in the description to somebody who teaches you on YouTube how to do technical investing, kind of lesson by lesson, step by step. So if you think you want to try that, uh, you can. That's the show for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to subscribe and hit that like button. We'll see you next time.